What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. What's happening? I want to talk to you guys about something that's near and dear to my heart. Someone who's going through trials and tribulations and turmoils in their life. I'm talking about the Wonder Boy, Don Matrick. Who remembers Don Matrick? He was head of Xbox up until July of 2013. And he was the man who was behind the initial push and vision of what the Xbox One was supposed supposed to be this DRM laden, always online, connect only, always looking at you, can't share your game system. This was this man's vision. And it, it was a tremendous fail. Thank God for Phil Spencer for coming back and saving Xbox because if it weren't for him, people like Don Matrick would destroy companies. And Don Matrick, if he was the head of Xbox and the head of Microsoft, he would have been a huge fail because his vision was everything that every gamer in the world did not want. And so, in July of 2013, Don Matrick left Microsoft because I'm sure there were people in Microsoft who did not agree with his vision of what that console should be. And so he went over to Zynga and he pitched them a deal. He said, hey look, things aren't going good with Microsoft, but hey, I'm, I'm the head of Xbox, so I must be pretty good at something. You guys give me a good position over here and I will, I will make something happen with Zynga. And so Zynga, if you guys don't know, they're the mobile video game company. They make games like Farmville, uh, games like Words with Friends, and lots of other mobile games in that mobile strategy adventure arena. And so he's been over there for the last year, uh, mowing grass and, and doing things around the office, cleaning windows and, and getting coffee. And uh, it appears that Zynga is through with Don Matrick. Now... It may not be because Zynga sales are so down right now and they're not doing nearly as well as they were before he actually joined Zynga. That may not be why. It may just be because they're tired of looking at his face. That every time they see him, they have that stigma, that negative connotation of what happened with the Xbox and they don't want their ship to sink. And so the CEO of Zynga, Don Matrick, has left and uh, this is effective immediately he's also no longer on the board of directors and uh his job is actually going to be taking o taken over by the founder of zynga and he will step into that role and he will get paid a dollar one dollar a year and uh i think that's actually uh pretty pretty respectable this man his name is mark pincus and he is actually the founder and chairman of zynga and he saw what was happening to his company when he put Don Matrick at the helm of his company. And he said, hey, man, you got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> you got to get out of here. You are doing something to this company. We're not selling. We're looking bad. And and uh, and poor, poor Don Matrick is now unemployed. I'm sure there's other companies that will hire him. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I think they're hiring. 7-Eleven needs a CEO. I would not touch this guy with a 10-foot pole. I really would not. And the reason I wouldn't is because you see how his depiction of reality was so flawed of what he thought gamers wanted. I think he needs a job away from gaming. He wanted to make the Nazi box. That's how I feel about it. I think that all the rights for the Xbox One, if, if his vision was true, people would have really, really had a, a strong disdain and dislike for that console. And uh, I think anyone in gaming, any major company that hires this guy has got to expect some some negative publicity and, and some negative feelings from consumers because this guy, look, he's he's over in the mobile arena fucking up. He's over at Zynga screwing up. He was only there for over, <laughs> over a year. He's there for almost two years. But they there he's out of there. They don't want him anymore and effective immediately he's unemployed. So I'm sure he made a nice salary. I'm sure he didn't get paid a dollar a year. But Don Matrick is no longer the head of Zynga. And uh, like I said, the, the founder and chairman had to step back in there and say, hey, I got to save this before everything you've done destroys our company. And that's what I think about it. I don't like Don Matrick. I didn't like him when he announced the Xbox One. I didn't like his demeanor. And uh, I didn't like really anything about him at that time. And uh, it's, un it's unfortunate that the guy doesn't have a job, but I'm sure he'll land on his feet. Uh, you guys let me know what you think about Don Matrick, the Wonder Boy, in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, guys. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. That really means a lot. This fan base is huge now, and uh, we're really going places. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.